Well, interestingly, within the past five minutes, uh, this vehicle just pulled up here. Uh, it's a, a Sikh charity based in Slough. They've been watching TV coverage in recent weeks of what's been happening here. This ordinarily would be uh, gear that would be shipped to uh, foreign disasters. And this is Calcerae that we're talking about. Um, oh, hello, so you're going to open it up for us, Joe? And they decided, actually, so moved that they've been by the plight of people down here that they wanted to bring some of these antiseptic products down to help uh, people uh, cope with the situation here. Ravi Singh has, has driven down from, from Slough. Yeah. What moved you to do it, Ravi? Sorry? What moved you to do this? Why the have you decided to I do it? I think um, we heard uh, uh, your reports. We see all your reports on Sky. And um, it really moved us that the main thing was why the British charity is concentrating on your broad. Why are we not treating this also as a major disaster? And uh, people are complaining that nobody's you know, remembering us. We've forgotten. Yeah. And this is a land. This is the area we all like to come on holidays. I come to holidays <laughs> on this part of the world. Yeah. So it's time that we paid back. I think as a British community, we've got to act fast and do not wait for government to react. Because once, we, if we wait for the government to do everything, people already you know, lost a lot of their time, livelihoods. So whatever small you can do, come down, but don't block the roads, don't jam the roads, work with well, existing is, organizations yeah. like this landlord here and work with them and do much as you can. I mean, this is just a start. We're very happy to go out there. If Jim from the landlord from this pub says he wants more stuff, for relief, we'll go and buy it today. So you'll just offer a ferrying service, you can move things around, perhaps take stuff to people when that request we, comes in? We, yeah, we at Carlside, we work all over the world on disasters, we're experienced. Yeah. If somebody's, where, have you, where have you been, Ravi? Where, what kind of uh, Lately, Philippines. Right. We were still working in Haiti. We worked all over the disaster in the last 10 years, from tsunami to now, and working in India and Punjab as well. But the main focus now is we need to be here with our own community too. Well, in the hour of need. This is our community. This is, these are our countrymen who are now in dire needs. I never knew the amount of devastation until we drove around to get to this place. We have to go several different routes. And it's amazing. The floods, the fields are like lakes. It's, it's unbelievable. How will they recover from disaster? I think we all need to pull together. Yeah. It's very, very important. It, it, but you make the point, don't you? I know you had problems with the sat-nav getting in. Yeah. The danger is if people spontaneously are moved yeah. to help, in a it, could cause problems. it could cause problems. So we've got to hedge it a little bit, haven't of course. we, to make sure that people know what they're I doing mean, and don't get in the way. We were yesterday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. on the phones, linking with organisations here. And it happened that Jim here, the landlord of this pub here, he said, look, come on down, we need what we can get. And that's hence why we came down. If we couldn't get a contact, we wouldn't come down. It'll just make matters worse. Yeah. But I appeal to every community that keep these guys in your prayers, do much as you can. It's our time now to serve our own community. Fantastic. Ravi Singh from Kelsa Raid. Great you. to talk to you. Thanks very Thank much you. indeed Thank for coming you. down. Absolutely fascinating story.